Hey everybody, this is Pramita here and as you can see I'm in the midst of putting together another of the summer uh, touch of spring kit journal and this is by, uh, this kit is from Artemis. I, I totally love this because it's very subtle and uh, I usually do not use, um, I don't know why I don't go towards blue papers. I tend to go more towards pink and purples and you know the rose toned colors so I thought it, this is going to be a <coughs> different thing that I am doing um, I had made another one another one of these journals and it has sold so and I'm in the process of making another one uh, perhaps this is going to be the last one for this uh, season or maybe I'm going to do another one I'm not sure uh, maybe if someone wants a custom order then I can do it and uh, <coughs> they come with a kind of um, you know a floating pocket sort of thing I have yeah so I have that done and I just need to add a few things you know like a few buttons maybe a butterfly over here so uh, that's going to go in so I've basically done the pocket and it's like so and this is another pocket so you can put something in I'm going to put something in you know and this is going to come with this journal so that you know they coordinate sort of thing and uh, uh, I have finished stitching the journal so now the thing is that I'm going to go through the you know the collaged uh, layered elements that I have done um, and I'll see where I can put them in pockets or in journal cards or maybe <coughs> I might stitch them. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to see more of these kind of videos because I often do these things. And I also am planning on showing you a few different types of pockets that you can add to your journals uh, using envelopes and scraps of papers and stuff like that. I usually do that sometimes. Uh, when I'm, I think that it's going to coordinate, but then uh, you know I don't do it always. So when I'm doing something like this, I'm just going to film it and show you how I have done it. So <clears throat> this is the cover, and the previous cover was a little bit different because I had layered that with cheesecloth, and this time I decided to use this trim, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see it, and. Uh, uh, I have not put in the charms yet because they come towards the later stage and first I'm going to put in the pockets, I'm going to ink some stuff up and I'm, I thought of taking you people along because um, you know I do receive a lot of questions um, sometimes uh, as to what my process is uh, but it's very difficult to film a process uh, from you know point A to point Z like from a choosing the papers till I finish this um, because uh, making of a junk journal is a messy business especially for me and I don't have any fixed scrap space so what I do is I just move my stuff around from here and there and I try to work in a very minimal space with very minimal supplies and I tend to do a lot of planning ahead so that I don't need to rummage through all my stash and it's an elaborate process so I would like to show you a few things how I keep you know basically things organized but before that I'm just going to put in the pockets so I'm going to push uh, put this aside because this I don't need right now and I'm going to go through my stash and see what I can use and I do have a few things lined up uh, like I would like to use uh, this was actually a page which I have converted into a pocket. This is going to be my front pocket and I know it's looking um, very lacy but anyways I have not inked anything up. Uh, not anything, not entirely uh, everything up. So Some of the items I have inked and some I have not. So I hope that it makes sense so I'm going to glue this down and I'm using a PVA glue for that matter and 
I hope you can see it. So I'm going to put this like so. And when you close this, it's going to be peeking a little bit from below. And I think I like that. Um, but yeah, not too much. So it's going to be like so. So I'm going to glue this down and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so I, I was totally, uh, you know, digging this kit because it's very much... Not my style I will say but it's not what I usually go for so it's but it's florals it's cutesy it's um, but the color scheme is not what I usually work with so I decided that uh, I should do this you know step out of my comfort zone and see and then I decided that maybe a craft color background will work better for this uh, because blues and greens I, I thought would look better in a craft environment <laughs> paper uh, so here I have the cover and this is the flip page uh, that I have added and I'm going to add pockets to this so I'm going to add a pocket over here uh, I do have some pockets lined up I don't know so I can add this so I can add this over here uh, this is actually a die cut that I had and what I've done is I have this eyelash trim I've added that as the feelers you know just so that it looks interesting nothing else okay so I'm going to glue this part up now my glue has decided not to work it seems so I I did talk how I only glue two sides because I want to give you enough open space <coughs> to put your journal cards and tags in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this a little bit more and have some tissue paper right here yeah. so that's the pocket that you have and then I'm going to fold this up but right now I'm not folding because I might glue it in the process so I'm just keeping it open and I'm going to add another one over here <coughs> another one of those pockets so Let's see what I can put. Um, it's a huge mess. <laughs> and I don't know how people... Honestly, um, I have no clue how people do the filming stuff so smoothly. Because I invariably mess up, you know. I, But I'm not a messy person as such. But I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't work for me. It's, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Um... I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get used to it but that's it so I'm going to add this pocket over here this is a collage pocket that I made and uh, <coughs> I'm only going to glue two sides as usual uh, I'm not going to glue all three sides so I'm going to glue this side and I'm going to glue this side Yeah. So, and I'm going to lay this over here. It's actually a mishmash of all the scrap bits that I had, <clears throat> and I just added one of the, uh, you know, the tiny journaling cards that came with the kit. And I think this looks nice, and this looks nice too. And that's that. I think I'm done. So I'm going to open this and leave it like this not going to add anything over here I'm just going to go through it basically first and then I'm going to decide what I want so if you hear a loud banging noise that's my neighbor I have very uh, 
loud neighbors yes um sorry i i totally apologize for that but that's how things are <coughs> living in a big city apartment so i'm going to layer a little bit here and i'm not done that so that's okay like you get to see how random me things can be so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue and i'm going to add this and i i'm just digging into my stash basically and i'm not sure what i'm going to add so maybe i'm going to add this so but i need to take this off and i need to ink this a little bit and uh to get this dark edge i just rub the paper because this is a very thick cardstock i just rub the paper against the you know the ink pad and i get this dark color and i'm going to add that <coughs> so and just gluing that and i might go on and add something later on but right now um i'm not sure what i can add but of course you are i don't know like i don't have anything specific in mind but of course i have some words from artemis artemis's uh uh ja website you know and um i could use that so i'm just going to cut out a few uh, on just a few word or some just one of those words and use it so maybe timeless treasures so i'm going to add that so i'm just chopping this up and then i'm going to okay so here i have timeless treasures so maybe i'm going to add that over here but i'm going to layer that so i'm just trimming that up a little bit because it's too big for my taste and you don't need to sew everything basically i i do a lot of sewing on my journals journal pages but that doesn't mean you cannot do anything other than that you can pretty well so i'm going to use this this is a scrap from the you know the paper itself so i'm going to use this so first i'm going to ink this up uh and and to ink this up and then i'm going to glue it like so so maybe like this or maybe something else i'm not sure yet so i'm going to put it over here so okay i'm not going to layer this i'm just going to lay it on top of this craft card stock because i think it's going to look okay I don't want to complicate things unnecessarily and get overwhelmed. Sometimes it happens, you know, when you are taking too much of interest in one of the projects. It does happen. So I might have something over here. Something, something, something. So I'm going to add this. so this i can just you know trim this a little bit these are some printables uh, free printables that i uh, bought from somewhere i don't know maybe graphics fairy or i'm not sure i have had them for ages and <coughs> they're very good for layering or you know making small collages like these some layered elements so um 
so I can put this over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a closure that's an idea you can do so I'm going to glue most of this and only leave a little bit open so I'm going to glue most of this and I'm going to just leave a little bit open so that like so yeah I can just open this and then I, I can close it like this so it remains like that so here is a page here's another one this is a glassine bag I don't want to do anything to this but I want to add a pocket to this page so I'm going to add something over here so I can add this as a pocket I have once again collaged a bunch of stuff this is a ticket and then book page music page some craft paper lace bits and stuff like that so I'm going to add that I'm going to add that I don't know if this glue is going to last me till I work through the whole stuff so maybe I have to stop the video and look for another PVA glue bottle and let's see so I'm going to just so when you're gluing a pocket try to move it away from the spine because uh, otherwise your spine will get too bulky so maybe that's not a very good idea so again I'm going to put something over here on this page so on this page what I can do is I do have these pockets from the kit and uh, I think these were meant to be made into a fully loaded tag pocket sort of thing to go into the journal uh, unfortunately I have not incorporated that idea in the journal so I've used the paper in different manner the papers meant for this actually but this is a tad bit uh, wider so I need to um, you know make it a little bit shorter so how do I do that is I just um, okay so and I'm just going to so going to be like so but I need this space a little bit more so I'm just uh, making it a little bit shorter uh, smaller because this is meant for a bigger journal size not for travelers notebook but I have made it into a travelers notebook size so what I'm I had to alter a few things to suit my needs basically so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit more roomier than it was intended and Andrea's kits are so um, much full of ephemera because uh, she often comes up with uh, separate ephemera kits and that's wonderful because if you don't need the pages then why would you buy them so this is another one and I might go back and add a bit of lace or something like that right now I am not doing anything I'm just gluing this part up so that's how uh, so I'm going to glue this this is just the top part she does that just so that the lip is a little bit sturdy and you don't snag that while um, while you're you know bringing out your journaling cards or tags or anything of that sort so that's that and so this is actually like this so so 
so I don't know I might put a bit of lace at the bottom later on so right now I'm just gluing this part up and making this work so I don't know how much I'll be able to do but um, that's how things are so I'm going to do some pockets over here and this is actually a coin pocket but I think I can make it work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this part off uh, and make it into a pocket so I don't need this and sorry for the you know so but one thing I need to make is a small a slot sort of thing so I don't have my whole punch right now here so what I can do is I can just eyeball it or maybe I'm going to do this later on because I don't want to mess up so I have the strip which I'm not going to throw away uh, maybe I'm going to use that for something so this is going to be a double pocket because it's going to have the coin pocket and then I'm going to keep an empty space at the back so that's how the things are halfway down and I'll be back for the next part where I'll complete the you know putting together of the pockets and then showing you how I put the ephemera and, um, and then there will be a final flip through of the journal once I list this up so Bye everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.